this is a good one for $30. That's right, you had me 30 Australian dollars. So if you got that American money, that's more like $18. I have found possibly the cheapest cinematic lighting from Ikea from all places. I don't know if you're ready for this. All right, I've got, I've got it right here. You ready for this? That's right. I found this tube lighting from Ikea. So I'm actually getting lit by them right now in the Ikea display and I've just come past all these awesome lights. Check them out. These are awesome. We're gonna pick up three of them. And now with this tube lighting, I think this is, this is pretty good. Let me, let me just turn off my light for a second, hang on. Look how good this lighting looks. It is so soft. And now this is only one light. So you're probably thinking what I thought. When I saw this and I saw these soft lighting in this awesome tube light, I thought two things. One, super awesome practicals in the background. And two, I thought maybe if I just had a couple more, I could make my own budget Kino flow. And um, that's exactly what I did. So let's get straight to the DIY. What I need to do is find some wood. So I've come to the shed and well, I've just got found myself some scrap wood. So right now, yeah, these, these will be good. This is what we need. So I'm looking for a bracket. And then the idea is to get these tube lights stacked in a way across this piece of wood here, like this, two, three, and then this is gonna mount straight in there. These little things here, I'm gonna bang these in the holes and then hopefully that's what I'll screw the uh, light stand attachment to and it'll make this into a proper light. So I'm just gonna, literally gonna bang these in those holes I just made, so let's get banging. Hey, that worked. Not exactly the uh, most center hole I've ever done, but I've also done a second one on the bottom as well. This is just gonna help um, me rotate the light, which I'll show you later on. I've now cut and uh, drilled the wood together to make my little holder. Uh, the little screws have come out quite well. I'm pretty pumped about it, um, but I've done a pretty dodgy job to say the least, but that's the point. We're saving money, we're on a budget, we're gonna make our own DIY Kino Flow. So what we need to do is we need to make this look a bit more sleek. So I'm gonna use the leftover paint that for my wall that I had from when I did the office, and I'm gonna give this a coat of it, and it should come out looking definitely better than it does now. Here's this beauty, nice and painted and looking nice and profesh. So I've already centered up the first hole there. So now I'm just gonna measure out two more. So this is the Spenced, I can't really pronounce it very well, um, makeshift LED, tube, D LED tubes. All I've done is literally turn off my aperture panel light and I've set it up just in front. It is probably half a foot closer and I am using three, but I have not changed a single setting on my camera here. This actually generally might be my new YouTuber setup. All these might be practicals in the background. I haven't decided yet, who knows, regardless, this is epic. I'm trying to do a white balance right now, but this looks pretty good to me. This is currently four, this is 4,600 Kelvin. So that's looking pretty good. Let me try and find a white card to white balance this Apple products. They say it's only got one use, but I'm gonna white balance on this right now. 
There we go. So this is white balanced uh, to the white balance it recommends when I did the custom white balance. Uh, so it does match a bit better. It does affect my background a bit with the blue light not being as blue and also the oranges not being as orange. Nothing to worry about. Bit of a color grading can always fix that easily. But this is the quality of light you get. So you just got to keep that in mind. So if you want that daylight type white balance and your whites to be white and you don't want the warmer tones, um, you will need to take into account that colors will change slightly. But if you do want the warmer tones, you can definitely run at a higher Kelvin, so like 4,000, 4,500, but there you have it. A couple of things about the build is it's a little bit jank, so just be warned about that. So all up, it came to about $100 just with the adapter, and I also got three lights all at $30 each. You don't need that. If you just get one light, you might want to get it a bit closer to your subject, or you might be thinking, you know what, this is pretty cool, but I want them more for practicals in the background. You can also do that and just get however many you want. The smaller ones are cheaper. My mate Josh, uh, who inspired this YouTube video, I didn't actually know these lights were at IKEA, so that's why I'm making this, because more people need, more people need to know that these are at IKEA. You gotta get on it, people. You gotta get on it. There's smaller ones that my mate Josh, he's got a whole video on about it. He talks about it as well. Shows you other rigging options of how you can just clamp them. They're pretty durable. They're just like some plastic, so they're pretty squishy too. Like, I'm surprised they haven't broke, so I've dropped them, I've hit them really hard. <laughs> I actually closed my door on one already and it's completely fine. So, can recommend build quality. Is also very good. The actual build itself though, things I'd probably change is it probably needs some supports going up the back of it just because they, they're a bit top heavy when they're in there and I can't seem to get it balanced, especially when they're long ways, they're kind of all, if you saw it, it would have been, on, it's on a bit of an angle, I'm not gonna lie. So all you need is a bit of wood to just support it a bit better. But Otherwise, this is doing the trick great. And you can copy this build exactly if you want. You can modify it. Let me know if you do do a better version. Um, you can just post on Instagram, tag me in it, at Josh Hodgman, sneaky plug, get on that. A couple of things I've noticed about the tube lighting is that it's not the brightest light source and it's not like the cleanest light source and it does give a more warmer feel. And I recommend leaning into that white balancing more around 4,000, not, not doing what your camera settings probably getting, getting a more wider look. They do look better warmer and they give that more nice pleasing look. The way they run power to is through USB, which is, I actually love this fact. What I did, I was able to just pick up this little converter that fits three of the lighting, which is perfect for my lighting bank, and now it's just one power source plugged in. Another thing is that means if you have them in weird places, you can get yourself a mobile power bank or something, which will then charge it for absolutely hours on end, and you can mount it and put it anywhere. But right now, I've just got mine chilling there, standing up, and it's lit up, and it looks really cool. I might actually put maybe one or two on the wall. Um, in the packet, you do also get some mounting brackets. That's what I used. I'm using just one for the lighting stand, so you can use two if you want to mount it on a wall. You don't get screws, so you're just gonna have to pick yourself, pick yourself up some screws, not too hard there. The, in Ikea actually, they're just hanging them from the USB cable as well, so it is a pretty strong cable, so you can do that as well. I can't recommend these lights enough. Definitely get amongst it, get as many as you possibly can. This is the lighting you need. You can do some pretty awesome lighting techniques with it. I might do another video about different lighting setups you can do with them. I've also got some NAM lights coming in, which are those sick RGB tubes, which are a lot more expensive. I think they're about a thousand dollars per tube, and I reckon we should definitely put them to test to see a thousand dollars versus thirty dollars. <laughs> That is a big difference, so couldn't recommend these enough. And like Kino flows are in the thousands of dollars as well. Yeah, like we don't have money for that. Like, we don't, let's be real. You're watching this because you don't. You're looking for the cheap IKEA lighting and this is it. And I couldn't recommend it anymore. Don't look any further. Head down, they're called Spence Lights. Pick up a couple, but otherwise I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, get amongst the content, get amongst it. I upload videos every week and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.